All right, today I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to transfer a laser printout onto a blank copper coated PCB board using just a few things. You're going to need nail polish remover, a little bit of acetone, a scotch bright pad or fine steel wool. Uh, you'll need your board and something to roll with, even pressure. I'm using a brayer for block printing. Uh, you could use some sort of can or a dowel, it would work just fine. Here's a close-up look at that cheap nail polish straight from Target. Acetone is the main ingredient. So for your first step, you're just going to prep your board, wipe it down with your scotch bright pad or your steel wool, then take a little acetone and wipe all that dust off. For the transfer, you're just going to pour some of your nail polish remover right onto the board and spread it around with your finger. Put your printouts face down. You're going to start out with even pressure, hold it pretty firm. But don't put all of your weight into it because it is possible to smear out the fine line. Add a little more nail polish remover on the back side and keep pressing. Switch to something smooth. I'm using a brayer for block printing, but you can use a soda can or a dowel just to put more even pressure on there. A little more nail polish remover doesn't hurt. You can keep pressing with your fingers. Once it's nearly evaporated, you're going to be able to start peeling it off. The whole process of the pressing should only take about two minutes or less. A little cup of warm water can help ease that paper off if it's stuck. You want to be pretty gentle, just rub all the bits off. And then I'll use a toothbrush really gently to get the fine lines clear. And there you go. You're all ready to start etching. Drop it in your ferric chloride acid bath and let it sit for about 10 minutes. Agitate it every two minutes, just shake it around a bit. At the 10 minute mark, I hit it with the sponge gently, and then about 12 to 13 minutes in, I'll hit it with the sponge to clear the remaining copper off. Then just dunk it in some water to stop the reaction. Dry it off and you're good to go. Just wipe off the remaining toner with some acetone. Look at your beautiful custom circuit board. Be sure to check the video description for more details and some links to where you can get some of this stuff. Uh, also, why don't you like it, share it, subscribe it, whatever you want to do. I don't know, I'll be making more videos about whatever I want to. Alright, thanks for watching.